tell me some team soccer roster here come out with five cards I have in your trade binder for January 2021 and this is the first five cards I have in your trade binder of the year and we just hit 1100 subscribers so hopefully we keep going strong and hopefully you guys keep loving the channel and I get more of you I'm aiming for 2,000 subs by the end of the year so if you're not subscribed hopefully today's day earn your subscription we should, could easily get 300 more because 38% of you are not subscribed so uh, who watch my videos so hopefully today's day earn your subscription and if this video gets 50 likes I'll upload a five more cards having your trade buyer for January around the 10th or 11th of this month usually I do it on the 15th so I'll give it to you guys a little bit earlier if I get 50 likes and if you're buying cards off TCG player please my affiliate link down in the description below helps out the channel to no additional cost to you and if you really really love my channel it's only if you really love it hit the bell icon in the description below you get alerted every time I upload a new video and sometimes my videos don't always go to my subscribers like a lot of people actually missed my tier list video of me listing all the, of Yu-Gi-Oh product that came out in 2020 in a tier list from F to S tier, so go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, and you don't want to miss videos like that, so hit the bell icon. We're gonna get right into it. So the first card I have here, a lot of older school players are going to recognize this card, and this is Debunk. So what Debunk, De 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 Debunk does, eh, sorry guys, uh, for those who don't know, is it negates the activation of an effect monster effect that activates in the hand or graveyard and remove it from play. Uh, and some of you might be thinking, okay, that's great, but what does this stop? That is the wrong question to ask because the better question to ask is what does this not stop? Uh, L Lich, right? Golden Lord activates, debunk that, boom. They, they can't function with their Golden Lord banished, right? Especially if you're able to banish both of these. Uh, you know, you look at Invoked, right? Alistar gets banished, boom, right? You look at uh, other meta decks as well, like Dryden, Debunk stops their plays right there. Uh, you know, you look at other stuff that we have, like, you know, when they go Nadir Servant into Ecclesia, right? And they start doing all their little combos, you could Debunk there. There's a lot of good meta decks that you can use Debunk, especially in the side deck. It's also a great card against Rogue. And it's also something that stops hand traps as well, since, you know, if they Ash Blossom and you have Debunk set, you can activate that as well. So, there's not going to be a duel where Debunk is going to be completely useless. Now, right now, you have Secret Rares from Legendary Collection 5Ds, around 4 to $5, and we already know that that set is near point extinct. So, and this is its highest rarity for it, being 4 or $5. And there's not that many listings as well. It barely even has two pages, and this is a, a, a card that you're going to want to play set of, right? When buying cards, you also you have to keep in mind: is this a one of or a three of? If it's a three of, more people are going to need them, right? And with the low quantities on TCG Player right now, I would definitely go pick yourself up a placer or two as soon as possible. But there's also the super rare, aka the original printing, out of Extreme Victory. And fun fact: this card used to be like twenty dollars when I used to play back in the five Ds era, going into Zexel, because this was such a good card, right? And it just stopped a lot of decks. Uh, but that's just a fun fact. You can get supers for like a dollar thirty, and this is the only two printings of debunk. So once the secrets go, the supers will go as well. So if, if you don't want to spend the fifteen, sixteen dollars on a playset, you could get supers as well. I think this is a great card just to have as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. But I would pick up more if you want to make a profit because a lot of players, especially a lot of pro players, are looking at debunk right now. And I've heard a lot of talks, and it could get bought out. We don't know, but I would get them as soon as possible. And definitely just try them out because I think it's a card that a lot of people don't know how good it is in this format right now. I've had a lot of, lo of love playtesting it myself. So getting right into the second card. And this is Stratos, Ultimate Rare. Coming out of OTS Pack Tournament 10, I believe. And what this card essentially does is it basically searches for heroes, right? And then it could pop spells and traps, no biggie. But every hero deck is going to run Stratos along with it's one of the most favorite cards from hero players that play meta, right? Along with just a classic overall. The reason I'm telling you guys to pick up the ultis is I told you guys to pick up them one time when they were 30 something dollars. And that's when I picked up all my Strausses. The reason I'm telling you to pick them up now is because they're not that $80, $90 mark. Now they're about $100. However, they quickly go to $150. And what people don't understand is the older an OTS gets, the harder it, uh, it gets to get not only the OTS in general, but just the cards within them. Usually packs, you know, like Astral Pack 4, where you have Maxi, are bit, are essentially extinct, right? You're not going to find packs of, you know, Astral Pack 4 lying around. And it's the same thing with certain OTSs, like OTS Pack 3. Uh, and OTS 10 can easily follow in those footsteps, especially with something like Stratos, right? So you can see copies going up to Dark Law prices because a lot of player who want, players who want to play high rarity uh, elemental heroes are going to want ultimate Stratos. Same with collectors. When you can get a, neat, a sweet spot where meta players want 
a card and collectors want a card and essentially just casuals want a card where basically everyone wants this card and you can get high rarity and it's just going to go up and up and up. That is something you want to strive for when it comes to long-term value and short-term value, but especially long-term value. And Ultimate Styles is where that it quickly goes up to $150. I would grab yours as soon as possible before it reaches like two, two hundred fifty. dollars uh, And that's really all I got to say. But hey, if you're an OG off Im Sakurazo, you guys probably got them at 30 So, yeah. Now, the third card I have here is actually a blue eyes card, and this is Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon coming out of Shining Victories. And what this card does is it takes a tuner and one non tuner blue eyes monsters. Neither player can special summon two or more monsters at the same time. Uh, so it's essentially a little bit of like a floodgate that can help with certain decks, like against Zoo and other decks that special summon at the same time, stuff like Obedience School, all that. Uh, so it's actually not a bad floodgate card, it's just very niche. Uh, but once per turn during either player's turn, when it affects, of a card in the graveyard is activated, you can negate the activation. Uh, during either player's turn, you contribute this synchro summon card, especially a light dragon synchro monster from the extract in defense position, except blue eyes spirit dragon, but destroy it during the end phase of this turn. This is a really good card because it gives blue eyes a lot when it comes to not only interrupts, but being able to get blue eyes on the board, being able to extend, and it is a floodgate at certain times. The reason I'm telling you guys to pick this up is because we are getting a set. Uh, in about March, right? It was originally February by March, where we are getting Ghost Rares and a lot of Blah Blue Eyes support. And I think this is, a, uh, I believe it's Ghosts from the Past, and this is a card that you're going to want because this is a card that bounces from like $8, 9 $10 all the way up to $20, and it always bounces between. But lately, it's stabilized around the $15, $16 mark. And what people don't realize is when the cards get bought out, if they get bought out repeatedly, uh, it's going to be relisted as lower, lower prices until a card is eventually just a ton of money, uh, you know, to keep in simple terms. But this is a card that can easily be bought out and just people can't really replace it. Maybe it goes down, what, $25, $30? And with the blue eye support, this can easily go up, especially if there's another deck that can use this in the future as well because it's a very good card overall. Uh, I would get your copies. First sets are about $14, $15. So I would get yours as soon as possible, especially something like Shining Victories where it's a set where um, you could get a limited quite quite easily since they you know restocked at your local walmart and other types of stores uh but first editions are very very difficult to find of these cards so i would get them while they're cheap and the unlimited and first sets don't have as much of a difference so i would grab yours as soon as possible now the fourth card i have here is actually from this speed tool uh trials decks that are about 30 dollars and this is dark paladin from speed tools now i don't oh, hold up don't don't exit the video uh, i'm looking at you right there do not exit the video. I understand some of you are like, speed duels, what are the value of speed duels? What what value? Uh, a lot of value, buddy. A lot of value. Let me explain. Dark Paladin, every single time this is printed, uh, has the uh, printing has a lot of value besides one of the one common printings it has, uh, where it's very accessible. The OG artwork, first editions uh, from, you know, Magician's Force, a lot of money, $200, $300. Even the unlimited prints. You have them from legendary collections being $40, $50, $60, right? Every time, dark, you know, you have it from Duels Pack Yugi, right? Used to be like $8, $9, quickly rising up to $20, $25. Dark Paladin is one of those old school cards that it maybe it gets a, a bone here and there as a reprint, but it's not often, and even when it does, it's not the easiest to get. With this version, not only is it a clean, secret rare version, right? But you could only get it for eight dollars. Looking at how every other Dark Paladin was cheaper, it could sometimes they start at 15, 8, 10, and then they quickly rise up to being 30, 40 dollars. Seeing them at eight dollars, essentially in in my eyes, I see it and I'm like, I'm paying about what? 20, 30 percent of what this card could be, along with Dark Paladin. Collectors are gonna eat this up, right? It is easily on the chopping block for buyouts eventually when vendors with deep pockets that mean you cannot even imagine get see this and they're like, all right, it's time to go in. Dark Paladin is a card you're gonna want sooner rather than later. And remember, this is not a guaranteed card. Uh, you get eight out of the 24 uh, holo cards that are available. And so essentially you only have about a third of a chance to get pa Dark Paladin. And I will get yours as soon as possible. Collectors still even like speed duels. Uh, and you know, look at Tournament Pack 1, Blue Eyes, uh, torn pack from speed duel for five hundred dollars who's who's paying that I, I'm, I'm waiting uh, by the way that was an actual question so if you I'll, I'll give you guys a second okay now that i gave you guys a second i'll tell you collectors and people who absolutely love blue eyes right they will eat this up especially cards that are very hard to get like stuff like you know dark magician girl 
you know, Dark Magician, right? So Dark Paladin, a card that barely has m many printings throughout its entire course, especially compared to many other legacy cards, this is definitely a card that you want to invest in for the long term. Now I'm going to get to the fifth and final card, and that is actually a card that's come out recently and you could get sleeved, and I believe it's going to be worth a lot in the future, and this is Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. Uh, this is coming out of Dragons of Legends, the complete set. Uh, right now, these are about 4 or $5. These are the lowest they have ever been. And every time I get them, they sell like hotcakes, right? I have never had a Cyber Harp Lady on the store for more than 15 hours. At least my store, when I'm selling IRL, people hit me up for it. This is a card that people buy full price all the time. And now it's dipping, so it's finally time for you guys to get. The reason I'm telling you guys this is because Cyber Slap... Uh, slash Harpy is a promo, and we've seen how what promos can do to the market, especially non-guaranteed promos, which this is one out of six. Uh, this, and it can be played in the meta, because Harpies are always a deck that's going to get a little support here and there, and a lot of people really like to play with. I've seen Dogmatica Harpies quite a bit, actually, and apparently that works. I mean, it, it's fun, I'll tell you that, and I've seen that it beat meta decks, but point is, uh, you know, Harpies, there's always going to be a cult following against them. There's always going to be collectors. And this is the only printing and the first printing as a pro secret rare promo uh, that you could get. But the best part about this is it's similar to Lost Arts, where when you get them, they come in a type of sleeve that you need to open, right? Whereas other cards, say like an older 2003, 2004 tins, uh, they don't really come that unless they have multiple promos, right? And a lot of people, yeah, yeah, promo packs, all that. But when you get a c one specific sealed promo, it's always worth a lot more money when it's kept sealed. And this is a card where even if it gets, you know, more printings, this will no matter what be the most valuable printing because you can have it sealed. So getting them at 4 or $5, that's pretty good. And what this card does, if you have it right at the side over here, is essentially uh, you could synchro summon this just using any harpy as a tuner so you don't need a harpy tuner or a tuner it's just two harpy monsters which is really really busted actually uh it's not like broken or anything but it's really really good right when i read this i was like wow uh and then this card becomes harpy lady and when this card uh on the field or graveyard and when a spell trap or effect is activated except for during the damage trip as a quick effect you can target one monster poke controls or one harpy monster you control return to the hand what this basically does is you get a bounce every single turn and if you guys don't know about harpies bounces are very very important right so be able to have this consistently uh and you know and that means that not only can you get your plays off get more on the board you know establish a board and all that but you don't have to be as protective on your bounces with your other harpy cards as well it just added a lot to the deck with the deck yeah i remember if you're old school when, uh, for Team Soccer also, when this card came out, I was originally shitting on it. I'm like, eh, it's a bounce. It's cool, but I don't really see it. And that's because I didn't know Harpies. I got a few dislikes. So I did my research because I like to see if I'm wrong or not. And this card is definitely one of the bread and butter cards of the deck. I was completely wrong with that. So this is a card where for sealed $4, this is something you get. And you don't need to forget this for five years. You can forget about it for maybe a, a year, six months even, right? And this will slowly raise in value. So... Get these while you can. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the five cards I have a trade about it. Leave a like if always. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you're buying cards off DC Player, so I feel link down in the description below. And I actually have a Twitter. It is in the description below. So follow that if you want to. I post memes and other stuff. And sometimes I post like random giveaways there too. So I will see you guys in the next video.